Hi guys, welcome to the Citizen Channel. I hope you're all staying safe and well. Please, if you are new to this channel, please push that subscribe button. We do everything city past and present here on these little vlogs. So I do try and inform and entertain. And there's some links on screen as well for Facebook and Twitter where I do post loads of city stuff. So if you follow a friend me on there, I do check every few days and follow a friend everyone back. And if you do get a chance, please have a check out my uh, film and TV channel as well, uh, which I try and inform and entertain on there and all the latest films and TV drama here in the UK and from around the world. So you can check that out. That will be fantastic. Anyway, hope you enjoy today's feature. Welcome, welcome to the Odd Show, where we look forward to the PSG versus Manchester City Champions League game. Yeah, Group A, match day two, isn't it? And um, we currently sit top of that division, so that's not too bad. 28th of September 2021. I, for some reason, I had my mind it was only 29th of September, but uh, hey, I'm, I'm getting old, aren't I? Please forgive me. 8 pm kickoff here in the UK. Of course, the odd show will always be a city leaning, but obviously, these sort of competitive games, there may always be some value on the opponents as well so we'll have a look at that and it's just not a matter of throwing figures at you which it is but also there'll be some sort of thinking behind it all and anything i can add to what i say will be uh, i'll put on here as well for you please i don't condone gambling in any way this is just for a bit of extra interest a bit of funny have the charity bets as well only ever bet what you can afford and please uh, when the fun stops stop and all that please this is just just a little bit of fun as they most of most of us do like a little bit of extra interest on the football so that's all it's saying that and if you do have any problems please as help out there get in touch with me or or the various organizations but uh, they say this is just just uh, just to add a little bit of interest to the football uh yep so each match of course as i said i'll be placing a, a charity bet or a, i've been doing i've been splitting the bets uh last uh, few weeks so there'll be a couple of bets today and i'll tell you about those of course any losses i make i'll cover myself and all the profits will go to the nominated charities at the end of the season all the prices today are as at the 25th of september 21 here in the uk at 8 p.m so please check around if i don't mention a specific get uh, bookie please uh, it means it's sort of generally available so here we go let's have a look at this game and the general odds yeah um obviously at the start of the season with the introduction of messi and three or four other players psg were put into firm favoritism for the Champions League, but uh, we're now neck and neck. Yeah, it's uh, you can get four to one generally on either PSG or City to actually lift the Champions League. With Bayern Munich uh, available at sixes, Chelsea available at sevens at the moment. So, yeah, so I'll have a little shop around. But interestingly enough, saying myself, ourselves, and PSG are now joint favourites, depending which uh, bookie you look at. Uh, to win the group itself, yeah, Group A, City have now gone down to four to six. Uh, PSG were the favourites initially, but obviously now City have gone into four to six. Uh, you can get that with three six five. PSG, the best price you can get on them is thirteen to eight with William Hill. If you still fancy them to win the group, of course the 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 most favoured English team to get further in this competition in the Champions League is City. Uh, yeah, and we're actually you can get five to four on Bet Victor for City to get the furthest. So they don't have to win it, and they're just to just a little bet for the, the most successful English club. So that's not too bad. Perhaps could have done with it a little bit more, couldn't we? So obviously everything I've done today is based on this this team, this team of of City as they we've just I'm recording this as we've just had a wonderful victory at Chelsea, but a very hard fought victory, a lot of work put in. So I do expect five or six changes for this game. Uh, so this is the thinking behind this and I don't obviously it's not become as a, a priority perhaps as you thought it would be this. I mean City might be well willing to take a draw here. Obviously if we get beat, we get beat and I don't think there'll be too too disappointed with that but uh, I think we're going to aim for at least a draw if we can't if we can't win this so my thoughts on the team and this is what all the value and looking at the bets today has been on uh, I'm going to stick Edison, Walker, Laporte, Stones, Zinchenko, Fernandinho, Gundogan, Foden, Mares, Torres and Sterling yeah if you want a little bit more in depth on that please watch my preview show of the game and i'll give you reasons for and who's being rested etc but everything i've done today on this odd show is based on that lineup as i might be a million miles out and it's all all goes to pot but hey that's all you can do when you're looking at these things right on to the match itself yeah the match odds city is seven to five best price with three six five so we are favorites to win it uh psg and nine to five uh so that's not a bad price on them either to be honest with you a draw which i'm angling for to be honest with you is 13 
to five with that bet victor, which seems a pretty good value to me. So my first of uh, two charity bets today, um, I've gone on to smart it, so I only usually bet the exchanges at 2.65 for the draw. So I've, I've put uh, the first of the two charity bets on that. So I'd say the draw does interest me with this one. Right, on to the other one, we'll look at first goal score. Of course, PSG sort of dominate the first uh, few lines of this, if you look at the various bookmakers in the goal scoring ratings there uh, just looking at cities guys and who i think might play on on tuesday night you've got torres at six this is an interesting one with jesus at 13 to two if he plays mm. still in a mar it's about 15 to two you can get out with three six five so that's not bad and gun doan's a nice value as well at 10 to one but as i said on the first goal score it's psg you sort of dominate the ratings we've got Messi again is a question mark whether he'll play or not he didn't play just playing psg's last game but you can get fours on Messi. Uh, Mbappe is nine to two. Uh, Icard is six to one, and a Neymar is six to one with three six five as well. So, yeah, they they're okay. Uh, I don't usually like the first goal scorer market, but if you like that market, there's some opportunities there. I like the anytime goal scorer. Is there any value on this? Well, there's not a lot of value on the PSG guys, but but there might be a little bit of value on the City guys with this one. You have got Sterling at twenty one to ten. I always like a two to one or more. Uh, Sterling twenty one to ten is interesting. Tor this is any time goal scorer. Don't forget Torres can get twenty one to ten as well at Paddy Power and Bet Victor. Mares you can get twenty three to ten at Sky and Bet Victor. And Gundogan you can get seven to two at Paddy Power and Bet Betfair Sports. So. They do interest me more and always do more than any time goal scorer just to get a goal. Uh, Sterling, Torres, Maris and Gundogan who are all think will play in this. Uh, some good prices there. So I'll see what you think on that one. Uh, on to the both teams to score. I mean, obviously the favourite for this. Uh, the bookies think that both teams will score very likely. So you're only getting 8 to 15 on 3.65. It's all right. If you don't mind betting odds on, which I don't sometimes, uh, that's okay. Uh, but obviously it's a bit restrictive. But if you, if you think someone will clean, keep a clean sheet, I think that's a bit more tempting. That's what the bookies have done with this one. It's uh, 17 to 10. So it does offer a little bit of value if, uh, if you think City or PSG can keep a clean sheet. And if I was going to do that, I would probably edge towards that, to be honest with you. Uh, correct scores are always an interesting one, aren't they? I mean, I do fancy a draw for this game. I do fancy City. Uh, I won't be under, overly disappointed if we get beat. I'll be wonderful if we win, of course, with uh, obviously another big game on the horizon after this. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't be too upset with the draw. I'm not sure there'll be many fireworks because I think PSG would like to win. But again, PSG will probably think if they draw this, they've got a chance of still got a good chance of getting through the group. So uh, you might see a cagey performance from PSG and City. Um, which they've, you know, we we haven't we have drawn with them in the past, and I wouldn't I wouldn't want to expect to draw tomorrow. But if you fancied the win, if you fancied a one nil win for City, uh, you can get uh, what's that one on there? I can't see the thing. You can get a one nil. You can get as as uh, a ten to one at William Hill on a one nil. You know, two nil. You get fourteen to one generally. Three one. You get eighteen to one from William Hill again. And a two one is William Hill. Uh, you can also get that at. Uh, 2-1, I've lost that one, I haven't got that, my apologies, I haven't got 2-1 William Hill, let me just, while we're on here, let me just see if we can get it on, up here for you and uh, find it, so a bit of live action here for you, see if we can get uh, football, To the city game, I don't have much time to edit this, so you're gonna to have to uh, s s sort of uh, go with the flow on this one. Yeah, the correct scores William Hill City 2 1. Here we go. Yep, yeah, 15. Nine to one, yeah, you can get nine to one on that uh, at uh, William Hill uh, for City to win two one. My apologies for that. Uh, the draw nil nil is sixteen to one. One one draw is thirteen to two. William, William Hill and Bet Victor. A two two draw is uh, t is actually ten to one with William Hill. So, but uh, I can't see that happening. Can you? 
PSG to win 1 0 is uh, 12. So, yeah, with William Hill and Bet Victor. Uh, a 2 0 is 16 to 1, and a 3 1 is 20 to 1. So, a 2 1, and I missed that. 2 1 for PSG, uh, William Hill. You can get uh, a 9 to 1 on that. So, you can get 9 to 1 with William Hill on that one. So there you go. They're the correct scores. You fancy them. Very hard. Very hard to get those correct scores, right? Half-time, full-times. Yeah, interesting. I mean, a draw and a draw for me would be very, very, uh, would be the most obvious one. City, City is 11 to 4. Uh, Paris, Paris Saint-Germain. Paris Saint-Germain is 7 to 2 with Sky and Bet Victor. A draw and a draw is 11 to 2 with Sky. A draw and City at full-time is 5 to 1. And a draw and Paris Saint-Germain is 11 to 2. So, yeah, I mean, that's some interesting ones. Certainly the City, City's interesting at 11 to 4. But you fancy a, a, a sort of stalemate, if you like, a draw-draw synopsis. Yeah, that's 11 to 2 with Sky. So I think that's a good one. Goals over under. This is where my second charity bet's going to come into it. Uh, over 2.5. Five goals was going to be three in the game is eight to thirteen. I don't think that's a bad value for odds on, but over three to five. You want to take a chance on a two two or a three two or something like that, a three one, uh, 31 to 20 on Paddy Power and Bet Fair Sports. Uh, I don't really expect lots of goals, also. I, I'm thinking three as a maximum. So if you fancied it even tighter, under two and a half, it's 13 to 10 at 365. But uh, the one that interests me is under three and a half. So you don't expect up to three goals in the game. Uh, very tempting to me. It's odds on. It won't be everyone's cup of tea. But again, as I said, I don't mind betting odds on. Eight to 15 on 365 for uh, under 3.5. So there you go. So my charity bet, there you go. I've not gone on to bet uh, 365 for it, but on to smart it's under 3.5 goals. I've got at 0.56. So that's my second charity bet. So... Yeah, I do. I do fancy that. I do fancy it to be tight and under three, three. I mean, probably a five, one, five, two, five, three. Now or some six, three again, like the other, the Leipzig game. But uh, yeah, I fancy that, so I've gone on for that. Winning margin, yeah, that's always an interesting one. I can't really get on these very much because of the uh, they don't really offer them that much on the on the exchanges where I used to I usually like to bet. But if you fancy City to win by one goal, it's ten to three. That's not bad. Uh, a score draw. This is another interesting one. Betfair Sports uh, score draw sixteen to five for the score draw. Uh, PSG winning margin of one is fifteen to four, nearly four to one with three six five. So again, pretty good. Then you fancy a two goal margin, a three one or a two niller. City are eleven to two, and PSG are eight to one with Betfair Sports. So. There you go, some good value there. A win to nil is an interesting one as well. If you think there's going to be a clean sheet, but a team will win. City are four to one, and PSG are five to one for that win to nil. So there you go. Some interesting prices. Some, as I say, with tight games, you can usually get a little bit of value, can't you? So just to reiterate my two charity bets, I've got the draw, the match of draw after 90 minutes for the match, uh, 2.65 at 2.65 with the smart kits. I've got that. And for my second charity bet, I've gone over to the under over market and I've got under three and a half goals. So as long as it's not a uh, a big goal scoring game, uh, we'll, we'll have some money for the charity and that's uh, at 0.56. Anyway, let me know what you're doing and as i said please i don't, never condone gambling only ever bet please what you can afford don't don't ever change your losses and all that sort of thing so please let me know what you're having to go on and what you're looking fingers crossed for the charity bets and the fingers crossed for your bets as well that'd be absolutely brilliant and uh hope you hope you enjoyed today's show anyway let me know in the comments sorry about the error before i did it late at night and i must have missed a couple of prices but uh i may have edited it out or i may have just left it in whichever way Hope we enjoyed the show anyway, and thanks for watching. And please don't forget my little shows on PSG, my preview show, and the History Boys show, of course, both on the PSG game. So uh, please have a look at those, look out for those, and I'll put them on the screen, etc. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you're going to do the rest of the day. Have a great one. Look after yourselves, look after your friends, look after your families. More importantly, let's all look after each other. So we meet here again on the Citizen Channel, or perhaps have a look at my film and TV channel. Just have a look on there if you want a break from football. Whatever it is, whether it's back here or on there, all I ever ask is please stay safe, Blues. Come on, City. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.